Anamorphic lenses have widely been used in feature films for many years and offer a number of visual differences and qualities over normal spherical lenses. One of those distinctions is the oval shape of the bokeh that anamorphic lenses produce. Pixar has a long history of rendering their films at anamorphic depth of field, with WALL-E being the first Pixar film to employ this cinematic look, helping create a sense of space and depth in every shot. With RenderMan, you have the ability to render your images with beautiful anamorphic bokeh and also can be used to render your CG assets to match real-world anamorphic lenses. In our studio scene, I have scattered a number of tiny spherical mesh lights starting at the camera and going further into the distance to help visualise this look. Here is what the scene looks like with a normal spherical depth of field and as you can see the bokeh is how we would expect it to look from a spherical lens, which is the default in RenderMan. To alter the shape of the bokeh, simply go to the camera attributes panel within your chosen DCC and inside of the RenderMan section you will find the depth of field attribute. A positive value will result in a horizontal bokeh, but for this example, we want to dial in a negative value, changing the default value from 1 to 0 0.5, thus recreating a cinemascope lens with an anamorphic 2 to 1 ratio. And this is the result, and as you can see, the shape of the bokeh now mimics that of an anamorphic lens. The further we look into the shot, the more of the anamorphic oval bokeh becomes apparent. So for extra visual realism and creativity, also try experimenting with the bokeh, density, sides, angle and roundness the next time your depth of field feels a little bit ordinary.